Hi, my name is Sharon Chen, and I am a pediatric infectious disease physician at Stanford University. This video is on strategies that microbes use to exit the host. It is part of our Introduction to Microbiology series. Exiting the host is an important step in the life cycle of a microbe. Microbes must exit a host in order to transmit to another host. For physicians, understanding how microbes exit can help with strategies to prevent transmission of infection to another person and within the population. For some microbes, exit and entry portals are the same. For other microbes, they are different. The learning objective is to describe some strategies that microbes use to exit the host. We will give you one example from each of the major groups of microorganisms. Bacteria can employ virulence factors, for example, toxins for exiting a host. Vibro cholera, the bacteria that causes cholera, produces cholera toxin, which results in the production of massive watery stools. Vibro cholera ex exits the host within the watery stool. Here's a picture of a special bed made for cholera patients called a cholera cot. You can see that it has a hole in the middle of the bed to allow the massive amount of watery stool to drain very easily into a contained bucket. These buckets are used to measure the liters of fluid that's lost through the diarrhea. Another way of exiting the host is through skin lesions. Some viruses can produce skin lesions to exit a host. Herpes simplex virus produces vesicular lesions like the one you see on the lip in this picture. And the vesicle contains infectious virulence. When the vesicle ruptures, herpes simplex virus can exit the host. Skin scales can be a means of exiting. Dermatophytes are a type of fungi that live on our skin and can cause superficial infection of the skin like athlete's foot, which you can see in this image. Dermatophytes exit within skin scales that are normally shed by the host. Now, fungi that cause invasive disease do not exit the host and thus are not transmissible to another host. Invasive fungi such as aspergillus are not communicable. For intestinal parasites, a common means of exiting a host is to shed eggs within the host stool. However, pinworms, which are the most common helminth infection in the United States, have a more sophisticated exit strategy. This video shows an embryonated egg with a moving pinworm inside. Female pinworms migrate to the anus to lay eggs. Both the migrating worm and the eggs are irritating to the skin, causing really intense itching in the perianal region. The eggs are sticky when deposited by these worms, and school-aged children will scratch around the anus, picking up these eggs on their fingers and fingernails. Invariably, these contaminated fingers find their way into the child's mouth, depositing the egg into the gastrointestinal tract, where then it will later hatch a larvae, completing the life cycle. With the help of host behaviors, pinworm eggs are a good example of a successful exit strategy. For all the microbes, exiting the host can also be done via a vector. Some members of bacteria, virus, and protozoa exit through blood-sucking vectors like this mosquito.